Okay, so my name is Rishi, and uh, we've been working on Ashens lately, a pretty exciting feature that most of you know about. For people who don't, uh, I'll briefly introduce. So, uh, Ashens are a way to add custom business logic to Hasura. Uh, how Ashens work is you you define the the mutation definition of an action, and you define uh, an external webhook. And uh, whenever the whenever that mutation is made, Hasura contacts the external webhook and and where where external business logic can be performed, and then returns the response back to the client. Uh, right. So uh, let me start with a tiny example. Let's write a tiny mutation, uh, totally unrelated to the database. I just call it add, which takes numbers as arguments, which are an array of integers. And it returns add result, which is a new type that I will define here. Type add result it just has a field called sum, which is an int. And handler, this is the URL for the webhook uh, where we will perform our business logic. We'll come back to this in a bit. And the kind means uh, action can be either synchronous or asynchronous. Uh, in case of syn synchronous actions, um, when the client makes tries to make the mutation to Hasura, Hasura contacts the external webhook and immediately gets gets back the response and send, sends it to the client. But in case of asynchronous actions, uh, Hasura makes the request to the webhook. The webhook might take some time to process it. So Hasura. Uh, the, the client can subscribe to that action ID uh, to, to get the response of that particular action. So in, in this demo, we'll just look at some transactions. And so I just, I'm just going to create it now. So the action is created. You can modify it. You can create relationships uh, from actions fields to the tables uh, in Postgres. You can also set permissions. And we also have an FT feature called code gen. So we, we generate code, uh, the, the webhook handler code for you. So uh, currently we have Node.js Express, Node.js Zite, and TypeScript Zite. If you see, see here, this is the code for Node.js Zite. This is for TypeScript Zite. In case of TypeScript, if you see, we have also generated the types that you can use. Well, so uh, let's go with Node.js Express for now so that I can quickly show the demo. So I will try to deploy this handler to glitch because that's the quickest for now. Well, so this is the glitch project. This is the server. Just paste it here. The handler code, I'll call it add handler. As you see in the code, first you get the, get the input from the request payload. Then you perform some business logic. Our business logic is just to add those numbers. So some zero numbers dot for each. Yeah. And your I just return some. Loading, yeah. I will just get the URL of this server, which is this. Also, I have to add an extra route here. Post route, we call it add, and the handler would be add handler, which is this, right? And then I go back to my action and I change my handler to this slash add. I'll save. So now if I go back, in this to add numbers is one, two, three, four, and return sum. So it's going to return me the sum. If I do this, sum, it's going to give me the right sum. So that is one use case to do uh, to perform custom business logic unrelated to, uh, to the database. The second uh, use case is to to uh, to validate the Hasura mutations. So let's try something. I already have a user in, in, in the data. Uh, I already have a table called user in the database, and it has two entries right now. So I'll try to change my, my my email address. So I'll go to graphical, I'll say update user by pk, set email and ID, and I'll ask for age, email, ID, and 
what is this at? This ID will come from a query variable, and so will this email. We'll define the query variables, IDs and integer, and email is a string. And I will give the query uh, variables as ID is one and email is Rishi plus one at hasura.io. I try to make this mutation. It works. Now I'll make it two. I'll make it two. It works. So, uh, but now if I do this, this is not a valid email, but still it works. So let's try to uh, add custom validation to this mutation. To do that, I'll just wrap this mutation with an action. Name the mutation, set email. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll call it set email and I'll just derive it. So uh, based on the types of that mutation, some, some act, uh, action definition with the appropriate types were, were completed here. And you can now uh, directly create and just like add the similar this lookbook URL and I'll just call the route set email and that's it. I'll create now to implement the logic. As you see, uh, since since this is a derived mutation derived from a, a particular Hasura mutation. The, 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 the code for delegating to the parent mutation is also generated uh, by Hasura. And uh, so uh, in the handler, as we see, we first get the request input from the payload, then we run some business logic, and then we delegate the same mutation to Hasura. In this business logic, we can throw some errors if we want to. And if Hasura returns an error, we will return an error. If Hasura returns a success, we will return success. Right? So I'm just going to copy this. And I'll just go. Here. I'll call it set email handler and I'll add another route at the post slash set email set email handler. Yeah, hope there's no typo here. Yeah, works. So I'll just go back now and I will try to. Make a fresh mutation to the set set email action. So I just say ID is ten and ask for age email one. So I'll say ID is one and email again Rishi one plus equal something. Not a valid email. Okay, right? just remove these variables. And when I try to run this, it will still work because currently we have just wrapped the Hasura mutation. Now let's add custom logic to it. So you go back to your handler and just run if email.match copy the email regex return res dot status four hundred dot json message invalid email. And it is built. I'll go and try it out now. It threw me an error saying invalid email. Now I just make it a valid email. Hope this is a valid email. This is okay. Sorry. And I just send it and it has been updated. I'm going to set, set it back to my real email for my satisfaction. Asura.io. Here we go. So that's about it uh, for the actions demo. Uh, it'll be out soon. Uh, even we have our fingers crossed. <laughs> Excited to see your feedback. Also, one more thing uh, apart from actions is you must have seen, I did not cover, we also have these food notations now. There is a, just like we had uh, select by user, a select by PK in queries. Now in mutations, we have, oh my God. Okay. yeah, now in mutations, we have. Delete user by PK, update user by PK, and insert user one. So you can insert a single user, you can update a user by its primary key, and you can delete the user by its primary key. 
as as it was shown in the demo. But that's it from my side. You can ask me questions if you have any, and I'll be there in the comments to try to do things. Bye.